Alright, welcome back to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, everybody? Senior Inspector Artie here with 20 cases under our belt. We are now officially halfway through the game. Welcome back to the action, Senior Inspector. Thank you. There's been another heist. Can I assign you to the case? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, Chief, you absolutely can. Vile villains have vexed Vietnam. <gasps> Someone took all the water from the Mekong River. All of it? How could they steal a jillion gallons of water without being seen? I don't know. <laughs> Very sneakily, I'll bet. Now, the moose to Vietnam and rain in that river wrangler. Did they have Doofenshmirtz's and Aiders help them out? That's really the only explanation here. Ah, Perry the Platypus! With my dehydratonator, we can get rid of all the water in Vietnam! <laughs> That's really the only way it could have happened. Oh, hello. Hello! He was beefing up his biceps to go herding on an Estancia. Okay. I've seen the same shade of hair on a silver fox. He is an old man. Or he just went prematurely gray. Good afternoon. He dreamed of eating beef de chorizo in the front okay. row of the opera at the Cologne Theater. Well, he's obviously in a Spanish-speaking country. I bet he always stands in front for a group photo. It's gotta be short. That's how it goes. Well, hello. He said he was off to visit a president living in a pink house. That's not America. A tin can has the same tint as his hair. Yes, he's old. Telegram transmitted. Dear Carmen, sorry I missed your encrypted call. The phone was ringing, but I could not reach the elevated receiver. Next time I'll bring a step stool. Yes, he's short. Hello, may I? He mentioned something about barking like a sea lion on the Valdez Peninsula. A peninsula, huh? His hair could have been made of an... Yes, I know he's got gray hair. Do you need something? He may be sneaking into a harbor because he had a map of the Rio de la Plata and kept asking for swim fins. Mm-hmm. When trying to describe his height... Okay, he's short and old. I know this. Tell me tell me something else about him. Okay, out of these options, it could be Argentina, Peru, or Spain. I'm, I'm leaning towards Spain, because that is on a peninsula. Arge Peru, pro it's not Peru. I don't think it's Peru. I don't think it's Argentina. I'm gonna try Spain. You you can only get one fact per person. It was not Spain. All right, I guess we're going to Argentina then. El pueblo nueve dieciséis. <laughs> All right, have a good night, backyard baseball fan sixty four. Thanks for joining in, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. That's not the pink house. Do you need something? Were you not just, like, literally just in Vietnam? I've been following you. Check the lowlands, jungle, highlands, or rainforest, but you'll have to search almost half of South America to find him. So, Brazil? When trying to describe his height... That's literally the same clue that somebody else gave me. Brazil's an odd... Yeah, okay, it's Brazil. So we can literally just ask about the person. Do you need some help? He's a man of Everyone small. is just like, he was so short. I've never met such Why, a short hello. individual in all my I life. Oh my gosh, did I mention he's old? Hello, Tell me something yeah. I don't know. He gumped his metallic. Oh my, this is literally just two freaking facts. <laughs> there's, there's more to a person than their hair color and height. His height would make him an ideal jockey. Is that the 10th person who told me that he's short? I also want to point out, I think if you get just phenomenally unlucky, you could end up and just, you can't complete the warranty. Yes. Literally all we know is it's like an old guy who's short. That's literally all that we know. That, could, that describes half the population. What's on your mind? He's barging his way into the Erie Canal. Oh ho! I believe he wore horn rims. Thank you! He has glasses! I can make something from that. Now I just gotta know how fat he is. Can I be of assistance? Yeah, how fat is he? He's taking stock of the bond market on Wall Street. It's America. He was wearing a good excuse not to be hit. 
Yes, okay, now everyone's like, I remember you wore glasses. Hello, stranger. He was nothing but skin and bones. All right. Here we go. He was skinny. There we go. Now we're off to the good old U.S. of A. Flight 324 <laughs> is now departing for the United States. Enjoy the flight. That's true. There's only one person for each, like, basically body, essentially. Kaboom. Oh, he's off hunting jaguars, pumas, ocelots, and other considerable cats. Okay. Not Cuba, not Denmark, not France, not Panama, it's Tanzania. No, France has pumas. Duh. <laughs> it wasn't Tanzania? Panama? It's not France or Denmark. And I don't think it's Cuba. I, okay, I did not know that Panama had jaguars and a lot of wild, large wild cats. I guess I don't know anything about Panama. Hey, dude. Hello there. I don't know if he was just blowing smoke, but he said that he was heading for a country east of the Indian Ocean that has more than 100 active volcanoes. Uh, is that Australia? It's not just a country, that's a continent. Okay, we're going to the wrong place all the time. I guess it's Indonesia. Oh, it was close! We actually might run out of fuel. I have made quite a few mistakes, and I had to ask so many people about what the guy looked like. Because they're just like, he's short, he old. What else could you need to know? Hello, may I be... He's making his money in Mombasa, taking tariffs from traders, sailing down the Ati to the Indian Ocean. Okay, it's someplace nearby. Uh... It has to be... Cambodia. That's the only one in the region of the Indian Ocean. Oh, unless it's Kenya. Oh, no. No, it is Kenya. I have flown to the wrong place three or four times. We are almost out of fuel right now. This, if this is not the last location, then I think we are done. Unless we can get a refuel here. Oh, thank goodness. We also can't afford to talk to the wrong person. <sighs> that is not a lot of fuel. Okay, it's not you. Not you. Not you. Um... That guy's not that thin, but alright. What do you need? I need you to come with me, because you're under arrest! <laughs> I think I just found my thumbnail. <laughs> Shaky alibi nabbed! <laughs> I'm taking a dive for Carmen. You'll never box her in. Oh, uh -huh. that's what you think. Great work! The papers are praising your perfect pursuit. Perfect? I messed and up four say times. Bye bye to Shaky Al Labai. <laughs> Cause he's shaken in his prison shoes. During questioning, we heard just one phrase mumbled over and over. I always hide the things I steal, no matter what their size. I'll add that to your list. There might just be a pattern here. The, the bad pun criminals are definitely but the best part. But you've got other fish to fry. And there's a new case pending. Do you want to take it? I am pretty sure if we had to fly to another location, at least if it was not like right next to Kenya, we would have run out of fuel from that. Yes, I want a new case. South Africa's landscape has been looted. Some dope stole the Cape of Good Hope. Just Again? Hacked it right off the edge of the continent. 
Your job is to track down that crook and bring back the cape in undented shape. Ta-ta. I already know who did it. This is this has got to be freaking Bugs Bunny. First he cut Florida loose, now he's cutting the cape loose. Do, 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 do. Hello, lady. Ah, glad to meet you. Oh, I'm just a pleasure to meet you, too. Since she couldn't quite conquer the quirks of Quechua, I suggested she speak Spanish instead. That narrows it down. She was well-fed, but not excessively so. All right. Lady with a normal weight. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> a lot of summer accents here. She showed me a picture postcard of a school of piranha from the Urubamba River. Okay. She had the sort of build that medium sizes were made for. You know what would be funny? Like, if you if there was a hard mode of the game, you would have to decipher their hints based on their appearance. So, like, if this lady was like, wow, she was pretty short, like, they could be normal height. But just because she's super tall. Uh, what Spanish-speaking countries do we have? Um, Panama and Peru. Both of them are viable options. Yes. Rumor has it she robbed a jewelry store just south of Ecuador. Okay, that's, uh, Panama. I hear she always wears something around the top of her head. She's wearing a hat. He's like, I just heard. I didn't see it for myself, though. What's on your... She was headed for a certain country's capital city. Oh, I can't recall the name. Oh, but I do remember it was the same as a type of legume. She could have been Blackbeard's sister. So she has a beard. Cool. Is this the first criminal we're chasing after who has black hair? I can't remember any others before this. Do you need assistance? I understand there's been an upsurge in criminal activity near several copper mines in the Cordillera mountain ranges. Actually, maybe this is Peru. She said she won't go anywhere. Okay, I gotta... Fi okay, so Panama... Actually, Panama does have mountains. <laughs> no, it's Peru. Because the capital of Peru is Lima, which is a bean. Also shows what I know. I don't know where Ecuador is on the map. Whoops. All right, hello. Hello, may I be? A you may. Her hotel sent her a confirmation written in Urdu. Okay, well that's gonna narrow it down, because I've never even she heard of that. Fairly fit, but not Well, hello. She was carrying a brochure for a Jeep tour into the Karakora Mountains. This has gotta be someplace in Africa. I bet she never combs her hair. She She just hides it. She has a hat. What can I do for you? She said she would have to pony up a lot of rupees to see the polo matches at Chitral. She's a shady character who... Alright, I think I can figure out from the clues I have. Get back here, dude. Yes? She split the difference between... Yes, I know she's average weight. I need to know how tall she is. Oh, hello. You couldn't call... Okay, everyone... Again, everyone's just fixated on her weight. Okay, it's not Germany, it's not Greece, it's not Pakistan. Uh... I don't think it... Actually, it could be Pakistan. Uh, it uses the Pakistani rupee. Oh, Urdu. Okay, it is Pakistan. I was about to speak it's not Philippines, but I'm like, it can't be South Korea either. I do know they don't use rupees in South Korea. That guy just, like, killed his best friend in cold blood and was smiling about oh, it. Oh, hi! He's the real crook. She told me she knew she could cross Johor Strait by road or railway. To describe her height, I... Thank you. Got the warrant. Can I be of assistance? She hoped to arrive in time for tea in a former colony settled by the British East India Company. I was gonna say that narrows it down, but it really doesn't. What do you need? She had a tea dance to attend in the tiffin room of the Raffles Hotel. Okay. Um. 
Okay, it's not Mexico, it's not Panama. That's about all I can narrow down. Hi there. Hi! I spied Changi on her luggage tickets. Changi? Okay, maybe. Oh, that might be Singapore. Uh. Cheney Tiffin Room, Raphael's Hotel. No, it still's not really telling me enough. Welcome, may I help you? I was baffled when she said she planned to pay homage to. Okay, we got a lot of clues about raffles. Try Hungary and Sweden. How did you do? The Cheney. This clue is weird. Because I don't know if that's referring to, like, a language? Uh, and then Sweden. I don't remember which of these were owned by Britain. I feel like Britain owned most of the world. I'm gonna try my hand at Singapore. Okay. I'm like, Singapore's at least close by, and it seemed like it was the most likely to be a colony of Britain. That's bad. Yeah, you can see the cases are definitely getting tougher. Yes. She planned to celebrate her arrival with a plate of paella and a tall glass of sangria. Okay. Spanish-speaking countries. It's gotta be Spain. <laughs> Buenos dias. El vuelo 415 está llegando a España. I know paella. That's the Spanish word if I've ever heard one. And of course, Sangria. Hello. Where'd the suspect go? If she can't find a fishing boat going north to Vladivostok, she'll be stuck for now in the port of Kangnang on the Sea of Japan. Okay, some place near Japan? This could be South Korea or Thailand. Are you looking for help? I am, good sir. She's staying in a house with paper sliding walls. Warmed by hot smoke carried through pipes running under the floor. Okay, she's in a sauna. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> she hopes to find an inch on the beach in Inchon when the crowds go to bathe in the Yellow Sea. Okay, Yellow Sea. So it's, again, South Korea or Thailand. So that's the South China Sea. Okay, it's Korea. That's right next to the Sea of Japan. Sweet pea, I saw her going to... Why couldn't they just tell me that she was going to South Korea? Boom ba dum boom 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 ba da boom ba Hot on the criminal's trail, dun da 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 That's just, yeah, you did. That's just the Virginia Welcome movie. Yes. She's all charged up about seeing the dams at Inga, which send electricity all the way across the country to the copper mines at Kolwezi. That was... that meant nothing to me. Mm. Sounds like Nigeria or Zaire? Because I don't know anything about those places. Uh, industry... The copper's not a list, not listed there, so let's see Zaire. Okay. It's, it, I think it's Zaire. Sweet Pea, that's a term of endearment. It, it was... It was not an insult. Bonjour, voyageur. Le Congo est le centre de l'Afrique. <laughs> 
they're going to the country that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, just as a reminder, everybody, it's a black-haired lady who is normal with a hat. That's her! Do you need something? Yeehaw, lady! You're under arrest! Yeah! Barb Dwyer under arrest! You yes. may have corralled me, but you'll never fence in Carmen San Diego. I think that's just kind of the, news the southern has never charm. Been nicer, and it's all thanks to you. She hasn't said my favorite line yet. You put barbed wire behind barbed wire. Not to mention a big fence, steel reinforced doors, and a pack of guard dogs. <laughs> that's <laughs> just great. I'm and now a detective. A Consider yourself a detective, detective. That's going to detective is apparently better than guard. senior inspector. Now, there's been another robbery in another part of the world. Well, of course, there has. Are you to take on the case starting now? Yes. Did someone steal your Costco card? I will get that back. Gumshoe, the folks in Korea are itching to see ya. Cause North or South? Swipe their kimchi. What? They eat that tangy cabbage concoction alongside virtually every meal. But this morning. <laughs> Someone stole the recipe. <gasps> Soul food just won't be the same till you get the recipe back. Go to it. Did they, like, erase the recipe from everyone's minds as well? I feel like if they made this game nowadays, they wouldn't... They wouldn't put in the line. They bet you eat that with pretty much every meal. I bet people would complain that it's offensive. Mr. West! <laughs> do you need information? I do. I need your help. She described her destination, but I didn't understand. Oh, it's you India. See, my Hindi is horrible. She's gravitationally enhanced. That is one of the politest ways of saying that she is super duper fat I have ever heard. I will remember that. <laughs> Hello, stranger. A shock of stainless steel hair crowned her skull. You could just tell me that she old. Old and fat, not a common combination. Well, hello. She used a handkerchief to clean her lenses. Now I just need to know how tall she is. Hey, bro. Oh, hey, Pacha. Hello. She could be considered light, but only for sumo wrestling. <laughs> I should just make a compilation of all the times they said that somebody's fat. Why, hello. They're the best. I couldn't see. I gotta know how tall she is. <laughs> Let's go to India. Well, nowadays you wouldn't even. <laughs> Probably should say if they made this game nowadays, they wouldn't even be able to say if the person was a male or a female. That's how insane our society has become. You'd think after, like, the eighth time that happened, he would expect that the guy would make a loud noise anytime he's picking up a Lego. Good day to you! Hey, good day she to you! said that a flight in a crop duster was the best way to see the area around Santa Cruz. Okay, it's the United States. You might say she's on the hefty side. You might say it, or you would say it. I would say it! Taylor receipt, taken in seen by six inches, a short job for a short customer. She is short and fat and proud of that. <laughs> Alright, we... Uh... Okay, they must be talking about a different Santa Cruz than the one in California. Yes, what is it? She was buying a new pair of boots for a hike on Mount Akamani. I mean, it's gonna be a Spanish-speaking country, but we still gotta narrow it down. Can I be of assistance? She got reliable information via the post that her next destination lacked a sea coast. Okay, it's landlocked. That will help us. It's not Argentina. It's not Mexico. It's gotta... Let me just double check. I can't remember exactly where Bolivia is. Uh... Yeah, Bolivia is landlocked. Cool. El vuelo 415. Está a punto de salir para Bolivia. We are going to Bolivia to stop the criminal activity.
Hello, sir. Are you looking for help? She said she was going shopping on Orchard Road. Don't know where that is. Ahoy! What do you need? Ahoy, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> suspect without delay to Semboe. One of these days, I will remember where freaking Semboe is. Hello, can I be of service? I heard she had a meeting at the Merlion statue. Oh, I can't remember where that is. Um, uh, If it's in the United States, I will be embarrassed. Do you need some help? She said the name of the island country and the name of the capital city of her destination were the same. Huh. Is this Singapore again? I think it's Singapore again. Hey guys, the real question, if there's Singapore, is there also Cena Rich? Okay, Semba Way is Singapore. We must remember that, because that's a very common hint in the late game. Because nobody wears, knows where the heck Semba Way is. Hello. I overheard her say she would board a sailboat at Bordeaux after a good bottle of red wine. Definitely France. No other, no other language but French would have a word like Bordeaux. Spelled like that, but pronounced like that. Also red wine, so that's also a dead giveaway. How do these guys always beat me to the destination? And how do they keep responding after they die? Hey, dude. Hello. She headed to a land just south of Papua New Guinea that has white beaches, tropical flowers, and unique wildlife. She says it's a land fit for a queen. I can't remember which continent Papua New Guinea is on. I know it's not uh, <laughs> Europe, though. White beaches, tropical flowers, and unique wildlife. Okay, well, it's not Germany. It's not Pakistan. I don't think it's Egypt. Egypt doesn't have tropical flowers. Okay. Is Papua New Guinea near Australia? Here's an idea. Maybe, maybe we just get more information. That's an idea. Good day to you! Hey! She said that it has always been her dream to see the Dreamtime paintings in Kakadu National Park. Let's try one of these info things again. Satellite connection established. Message from the chief. Multilingual detective. Yes, yes, I know this. How do you say? Excuse me. In French. It's excusez-moi. Excuse bon après-midi. Je vous en prie. I have never taken any French, but I'm hoping I can pick up. A, I'm hoping I've picked up enough passively that I uh, will be able to guess. How do you say? Have you seen a woman in red? In French. Avez-vous vu une femme en rouge? Rendez-vous sur la place du marché. Où se trouvent les toilettes? I know that red in French is rouge, so it's this one. Avez-vous vu une femme en rouge? Yes! I am not as stupid as I thought I was. How do you say? Please. In French. Oh, s'il vous plaît! S'il vous plaît, je suis désolé. I know that from uh, Bon Voyage Charlie Brown, that scene where he goes to the bakery and it's like, he's trying to get the baguette. He's like, uh, on the bread, s'il vous plaît, and they're like throwing the bread at him. That's a great scene. How do you say? Nine. It's not Eight the first French. one. Un, trois, neuf. Mmm, okay, it's, it's not the first one. Trois. I thought trois was three. I'm gonna say neuf. Neuf. I guess. How 
How do you say? Good evening. Es bonsoir. In French. Bonsoir. Excusez-moi. Je suis désolé. Bonsoir. Yes! See, I know the basics, even though I've taken no formal training. How do you we already had this question! Nine. In French. No. This Neuf. is very it's very important Neuf. you know what the number nine is. Neuf. Neuf. Yes. Alright. Summon Rubble Crook. Robo Crook exposed. Good job. Did that refill my? Is that? I thought that was supposed to refill your fuel. Haven't <laughs> I answered a no? that was an S tier pun, Proxima. That was fantastic. What can I help you with? Where did they go? You know, I'm I lost. That she fled to Wollongong after almost being walloped by a woman okay. in Wollongong Bay. <laughs> I'm going based off our ultimate chicken horse round the everyday Mobius. If that's not Australia, mate, I don't know what is. We just got walloped by a wallamy in the Wollongong in Wollongong. <laughs> if it's not Australia, I'm going to be very, very sad. <laughs> Flight 916 is now arriving in Australia. Crikey, what a stench! <laughs> that was quite the Wallamulu! <laughs> Hi there, what's up? When she said she admired the Mayans for inventing the Zero, I insisted it meant nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, we go into Mexico. El vuelo 324 está a punto de salir para Mexico. It's just a short 20 hour flight. <laughs> don't act all cute, you dread to murder me. Probably some people just don't care about my content anymore, and that's fine. I don't pay attention to things like that. Okay, short, fat, proud of that, glasses, gray hair. It's her. What? What? You know what's up. You're under arrest! <laughs> and because you were rude, you get flattened. Meg Mady put behind bars. Oh no, Meg I my day. SOS. Carmen will come to my rescue. I'm sorry. I'm like, Meg Mady? What does that mean? No, it's Meg my day. <laughs> hey! You're a newsmaker and a crime breaker. Good work. You made my week when you made the bust on Meg my day. That's the way. <laughs> There's already been Go another... Go on, Meg oh, my oh, day. Right. I need a great gumshoe to take the case. Will you do it? Um, sorry, Chief, not tonight. We are just about out of time, and we don't have time for another case. That was good, though. I think we got through... Three or four cases tonight, so that that's pretty good considering how long the cases are. We had a little more time tonight. That was fun. I I enjoy playing Carmen in these nice small birds. So thank you all for joining in for this. This is definitely a lot of fun. We will be continuing backyard baseball and Carmen on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, weekend stream will have to uh, change up a little bit. So I will be streaming Baldi's Basics. <laughs> However, I will not be streaming at the usual 1 p.m. on Saturday because I actually have plans on Saturday to go visit friends. So I will either be streaming Saturday night, which means it'll be a little spooky, or I will have to stream Sunday. I have not decided yet, but I will keep people in the loop for that. So just wanted to give people a bit of a heads up for that. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.